Serena, Serena, Serena. One of the most famous and polarizing characters in the Pokemon anime fandom. Some would argue she's arguably the best written character in the series, and some would say that she is Ash's true love. As for that, I made a separate video discussing the best and worst shipping moments with Pokey Furlax, so you should definitely check that out. This video, however, is going to detail Serena's whole history in the Pokemon anime, all the way from when she was a little girl to now that she's a top-notch performer. Without further ado, let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit Serena's heartwarmingly entertaining story in the Pokemon anime. Serena's story actually starts before the first episode of the Pokemon anime. Remember this scene? Come on. Yeah, Serena actually meets Ash way back in their childhood during Professor Oak's Pokemon Summer Camp. Sorry Misty fans, Serena was actually Ash's first Pokegirl. So what is special about this fateful encounter? In the middle of the woods, a Poliwag frightens a lost Serena, which causes her to get injured. Fortunately for Serena, her knight in shining armor, Ash Ketchum, comes to the rescue. Ash treats her wounds by wrapping a handkerchief around her knee. Ash helps Serena get up and they hold hands as they exit the forest and join the other kids and he says, Don't give up till it's over. What a wise and encouraging message that found a permanent place in Serena's heart. Let's fast forward to a few years later and Serena has finally turned 10 and is now ready to become a Pokemon trainer. Being the daughter of former Rhyhorn racer legend Grace, Serena is expected to follow in her mother's footsteps. However, she knows that being a Rhyhorn racer is not her calling. But one evening, Serena's attention is caught to the television where she sees a young boy helping a berserk Garchomp come back to its senses and then goes on a jump off the Prism Tower to save his Pikachu. Serena eventually recognizes this to be the same boy that she met before. The next day, Serena gets the feeling that something interesting is about to happen and it's gotta have something to do with Ash. So, Serena ventures to Lumio City to meet Professor Sycamore and acquire her first Pokemon and begin her adventure. Well, that and she also wants to meet Ash who happens to be in the city. She just misses meeting Ash but she's able to choose her starter Pokemon in Professor Sycamore's lab. It was an easy choice and she always liked Fennekin over the other two. After learning that Ash is headed to the Santa Loon Gym, Serena decides to go there. She enters the gym only to watch Ash lose his first official Kalos battle. Ash leaves for the Pokemon Center abruptly, leaving his bag, so later on she returns it to him and they finally have a proper introduction. As Ash is having a practice battle with Alexa, Serena hands him a handkerchief to wipe his face and asks him if he remembers her. Sadly, Ash doesn't remember her at all, but she's totally fine about it as she tells Ash to first focus on his battle and that he once told her to never give up. These words eventually helped Ash win the bug badge. After the gym battle, Ash invites Serena to travel with the gang, making her the first companion who got invited by Ash to journey with him. When Clement asks her what made her decide to go on a journey, she goes to Ash and returns the handkerchief he once gave her to treat her wounds, and that's when Ash remembers Serena as the girl with the straw hat. Now that Serena has joined Ash, Clement, and Bonnie, her life has started to change drastically. She was right, loads of interesting things are about to happen. However, she still isn't sure what she really wants to do in life, so she tries out different kinds of stuff. One time Serena creates her first Pokevision video. Here she gets to showcase two major things that she loves, baking and fashion. We would later find out that her Pokevision video is a success and is loved by many people across Kalos. Next, Serena also joins a baking contest where she first encounters her first rival Miette, who loves to tease her with Ash. They both lost the competition, but it was the start of a fun rivalry. And then it's time for the Kalos summer camp. Here the gang meets Shauna, Tierna, and Trevor who all recognize Serena from her Pokevision video. The XY gang and the XY rivals bonded together and competed with each other throughout the course of the summer camp. It is here where Sean introduces to Serena this thing called Pokemon Showcases. A competition where girls perform freestyle moves with their Pokemon in front of many people who in turn vote for who they think performed the best. Shauna tells her about her dream to become a Pokemon performer. The current Kalos Queen aka the top performer in Pokemon Showcases is Aria who is also the person who dominated the Pokevision industry. After some conversations and self-reflection, Serena realizes that she actually wants to try out this Pokemon Showcase thing. Something sparks in her, she now has a dream, a dream to become a Pokemon performer. As Serena continues her journey with Ash, Clement, and Bonnie, she comes across a wild Pancham who interrupts the first showcase that Serena watches. This Pancham clearly has a passion for performing, and realizing how their goals are aligned, Serena battles it and successfully catches the playful Pokemon. Although Serena's friends and Pokemon are supportive of her dream to become a Pokemon performer, but there is one person from who she needs approval of before going towards her dream, and that's her mother. Ever since Serena was a little girl, her mother has already been training her to potentially be a Rhyhorn trainer as well. So Serena is initially hesitant to tell her mother about her newfound dream, but eventually expresses her heart's desire and proceeds to challenge her mother to a Rhyhorn race to prove that she's serious about it. Her mother proposes that they race on a Skidoo instead, to which Serena agrees. It's a very close race, but in the end it is Serena who comes out victorious. Turns out Skidoo could sense its rider's emotions, and Serena's determination to pursue this goal is what made her win, and her mom knew this all along. 
With that, it's time for Serena's showcase debut. For the theme performance, performers have to dress their Pokemon up and walk down the runway with them. The runway walk starts out great with Serena and Fennekin managing to overcome their nervousness. Unfortunately, Fennekin trips on her own ribbon which causes her to stumble and get eliminated from the competition. What an embarrassing thing to happen to the debuting 10 year old girl and her Pokemon in front of thousands of people. Serena tries her best to maintain her composure, but as the sun rises in the next morning, she heads out to the pier and lets everything out that she's been feeling since yesterday. She cried and cried, releasing all the negative energy, but good thing Fennekin and Pancham are there to comfort her. Serena proceeds to take a pair of scissors from her bag and cuts her hair to shoulder length and changes her outfit from a more uptight look to a more free and adventurous feel. The highlight of her new outfit is the blue ribbon that Ash gifted her a few episodes prior. This style change signals her leaving her past up behind, and that Serena is now a new person with new aspirations, promising to practice and work harder as a showcase performer in order to not screw up like she did in her debut. However, practicing to become the best performer that she can be isn't without trials and hardships. At one point, Serena loses her patience over her Pokemon fighting, causing her to run away. But this serves as an opportunity to have a fateful encounter with this girl called Ariana, who is actually Aria in disguise. Serena and Aria bond over many of their common interests, food, fashion, and Pokemon. When Serena and her Pokemon apologize and forgive each other, their bond has grown even stronger than ever and they have a double battle versus Aria. During an intense and beautiful battle, Fennekin evolves into Brakeson. Serena has learned a number of important lessons with Aria and she goes on to use these lessons in her upcoming showcases. In her second showcase, Serena easily passes the Pokepuff Baking Contest since that's her specialty. But right before the freestyle performance, Jessely bumps into her, causing a portion of her dress to rip apart. Well, she has two choices. She could either cry and give up, or she could do something about it and never give up, like what Ash said. Serena, of course, does the latter as she fixes her dress with her great tailoring skills, just in time for her to be called to perform. Serena breaks in and Pancham deliver an amazing freestyle performance, resulting in a landslide win for Serena, beating four other girls including Mie and Jessely. Soon after, Serena's attention is caught by this Eevee who is in a grassland and very talented at dancing. This Eevee is very timid towards human and other Pokemon, so Serena needed to do some enticement to get Eevee's attention and get it to trust her. After showing off some performance moves and saving it from Team Rocket, Serena finally gains Eevee's trust as it happily decides to come with her. In Serena's third showcase, Serena breezes through the quiz portion, beating her new rival Nini in the process. But for the freestyle performance, Serena decides to let Eevee see this one out so he can first watch the performances. But after watching Jessely's fireworks performance, Eevee gets scared and runs away. This causes a lot of distress for Serena and the gang, but good thing they eventually find Eevee just before Serena's turn to perform. All's well that ends well because Serena wins the showcase, even beating her toughest rival Shauna. One more win and Serena will have three princess keys which qualifies her for the master class. And now it's time for Serena's fourth showcase and she and Pancham again won the Pokepop Baking Contest to reach the freestyle round. Here she utilizes Brakeson's agility and Eevee's dancing skills to put on a great show. However, Eevee's stage fright sets in, causing it to slip on Brakeson's stick. But being the skilled and mature performer that she is, Serena helps Eevee get up and they manage to finish the performance on a high note. However, it still was enough to win the competition which is totally fine. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometime after, Monchier Pierre hosts a dance party where trainers and Pokemon dance in pairs. Everybody remembers the scene, but as soon as it's time for Serena to dance with Ash, the music ends because it's time for a Pokemon double battle showdown. With RNG in her favor, Serena is paired with Ash against James and Miet. It's Pikachu and Sylveon vs. Inkay and Slurpuff. James and Miet exhibit great teamwork and it looks like they're in control of the battle. When Eevee is badly injured, Serena comforts her because she doesn't really know what to do at times like this. I want to be your strength, Serena utters as ribbons come out of Eevee's body, and out of pure love for its trainer, Eevee evolves into Sylveon. The battle ends with a win for Serena and Ash as Sylveon beats both opponents with its fairy win. Serena then makes her way to Fleur City with hopes of winning her third and final Princess Key. For the theme performance, the challenge is to attract as many Rhyhorn as they can. Tell me how this wasn't rigged in Serena's favor as she dominates the first round. For the freestyle performance, Serena's main opponent is Amelia, the daughter of a highly regarded family in Fleur City. This showcase proves that talent beats popularity as Serena gives her best performance, winning her the showcase and qualifying her for the master class. But after her win, Palermo, a respected producer and former Kalos Queen, challenges her, saying that she is still lacking something in order to defeat Aria and becoming Kalos Queen, and that Serena has to figure it out herself. Three episodes later and Serena has finally arrived in Glory City where the master class is being held. She reflects on her past showcases and how she won her three princess keys as she opens her door into the future, as Pierre would like to say it. With Brakeson by her side, Serena beats Mia in the first round and dominates the second round with Pancham and Sylveon. Soon after, Serena, Shauna, and Jessica Lee find themselves in the semifinals where they battle it out to get the chance to face Arya in the grand finale. The stakes are high at this point, a single mistake can cost someone the win. All three ladies give a dazzling performance, each with their own unique style and personality. 
Serena, Pancham, and Sylveon are all having fun performing and flying on her stage, but for the final act, Serena does a one hand stand and loses her balance due to her injured wrist. But Sylveon is quick to notice and helps Serena with its ribbons, making it look like there was no mistake at all. What a way to show off Serena's bond with her Pokemon. It's a great callback to when Sylveon slipped in his debut showcase. All votes are cast, and the performer advancing to the final round is... Serena! Just before the final round, Palermo tells Serena just to forfeit the match because she can tell that her wrist is injured. But having the never giving up attitude that both Serena and Arya have, Palermo allows her to perform one final time as she treats her injury. This has gotta be Serena's best performance in the XY series as she makes a fun, fiery, mythical show ending with this wonderful fire fairy flower. Meanwhile, Arya's performance starts out good, but we didn't get to see the entire performance as she just ends it with a generic fire blast. Beauty wise, Serena's performance was miles better, but Arya performs in a way that gives strength and joy to other people, which results in her winning and defending her title as the Kylo's Queen. After her loss, Serena realizes that in contrast to Arya, who is always a giver of joy, strength, and love, whereas she herself has always been on the receiving end of these things, and she's the one that's always being helped. Now that Serena realizes this, Palermo proposes that she comes with her and train under her wing. It's a proposal that Serena is definitely going to consider, but Serena says that she can't leave Ash and her friends right now. When the Kyle's League finishes, that's when she'll decide if she's ready to go with Palermo. Now you may think that Serena's significance in the anime is over since the Masterclass has ended, but you can never be more wrong. This is actually a turning point for her character because starting here, she's taken a more giving position and has started to be more active and assertive in helping other people. In the iconic Battling at Full Volume episode, Serena dresses up as Ash in order to cover for him because he's sick. She establishes a great battling chemistry with Pikachu and really showcases her independence, kindness, decision making, and ability to rise above uncomfortable situations. In Seeing the Forest for Trees, we get this infamous interaction of Serena throwing snowballs at Ash's face and telling him to bring back the real Ash because he was acting different from his true self. This episode shows her growth as a character as she not only is bold enough to speak the harsh truth, but she manages to do it so Ash realizes his mistakes and that he should get his stuff back together. But we see that her empathetic and caring self is still there as she realizes that she may have acted a little bit too brash and she goes back to the stormy forest to look for Ash. This whole time Serena viewed Ash basically as Superman, always doing the right thing, always there for everyone, always strong, independent, fun, and positive. But this episode also allowed Serena to view Ash as a human being. She embraces and accepts the fact that Ash has his own flaws and struggles. This only makes their friendship even stronger. In the Team Flare finale arc, Serena takes charge on a mission to infiltrate Lysander's lab and save Chespi along with Marin and Professor Sycamore. Despite not being a battle-focused trainer, she is still able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Flare scientists and then proceeded to help Ash, Alon, Sycamore, and Steven Stone fight the giant rock. You know Serena's grown so much if she can keep up with the high-skilled battlers and future Masters 8 members. And finally, when the strongest trainers of Kalos arrived to stop Lysander, Serena took on a protective role and shield Bonnie and Marin from any vines that may come their way. After all these Team Flare shenanigans and as Lumio City is recovering from the damage done by the vines, Serena, Shauna, and Justin Lee give a wonderful performance as the three showcase finalists work together to give joy and strength to the city people. Afterwards, she and Ash go on a date around the city of lovers and eat different kinds of foods, window shop, and of course have a friendly battle. These days have solidified Serena's decision regarding Palermo's proposal. Arya helped her realize that her smile gives other people strength. Her performance with Shauna and Justin Lee gave her a different perspective. Seeing the smile on people's faces, she now wants lots of different people to watch her performance in order to grow. Studying with Palermo will only make Serena overly dependent on her. Serena would love to explore other regions and perform for different kinds of people and create some wonderful experiences and memories. And more importantly, she wants to help other people find their dreams just like how her friends helped her find her own dream. Palermo suggests Serena to go to the Hoenn region and participate in Pokemon contests to gain more experiences in performing, and that's what she decides to do. And so, Serena parts ways with Ash, Clement, and Bonnie, but not before giving Ash a sweet goodbye kiss. The next time we see Serena, she's already landed in the Hoenn region, ready to become a Pokemon coordinator and put a smile on people's faces. And that is Serena's history in the Pokemon XY series. But wait, we're not done yet. Fast forward to Pokemon Journeys, Chloe is super excited to see this popular Sylveon trainer in Lily Cove City, and it just happens to be Serena. Serena has clearly matured in both attitude and looks, and she introduces Chloe and Eevee to Pokemon contest spectaculars. Serena even lets Chloe wear Mei's contest outfit. Serena shows off an incredible performance with Pancham, Sylveon, and her now evolved Delphox. She goes on to win the Master Rank contest, tying with Lycia and her Mega Altaria. At the end of the episode, Serena has a brief encounter with Ash. As the boat drives Ash away from Serena, I don't know, because maybe Misty was driving it, they quickly share what they've been through when they were apart. They also talk about their dreams and joys and how they'll individually work hard to achieve them. Serena goes on to appear with Mei, Max, and their Pokemon as they watch Ash's battle in the Masters 8. And that is the last time we see Serena on our screens. We've discussed Serena's whole adventure in the Pokemon anime. 
from an unskilled girl who doesn't know what she wants to do in life, to becoming a skilled trainer and performer who brings joy to people's lives, Serena has really gone full circle. I cannot stress how well developed her character is, she's truly one of the most rootable characters in the entire franchise. Do you love Serena? If so, comment down below your favorite thing about her. But also comment which character you would like me to discuss next. But as always, it's been your boy Lua, and I'm out. Peace.